Doug Kalin, for six weeks, Jason Lee and Aiden Baca have been undergoing surgeries and requiring ventilators, an ordeal their parents say could have been avoided. Yeah, to see your kids in a bed with that hose in their throat and not being able to breathe on their own, that's, Nothing you that's horrible. It's a sight Jason Baca thought he would never see. Both of his sons, 17-year-old Jason Lee and 13-year-old Aiden, hooked up to breathing machines and residing in intensive care units. The boys were diagnosed with COVID-19 back in August. The virus soon spread to their entire household, none of whom were vaccinated. We were in shock. I mean, within three days, it had spread from, you know, just one or two of us to everybody in the house. Their mother, Renee, soon fell ill herself. It wasn't a good feeling. I couldn't breathe. I had a really hard time breathing. While she eventually recovered, other members of her family weren't so lucky. Her mother passed away several weeks later from COVID-19. Meanwhile, her two sons are still fighting for their life. They said that he had a 0% chance of making it. They wanted me to say bye to him. And I said, I'm not going to say bye. With times of uncertainty and helplessness, Jason says prayers are helping him get by. Now, there's so little that you can do when you're here. I mean, prayer is one of the main things that you can do. So. I've been praying a lot. We are finding more and more cases of severe COVID in children. Doctors say when it comes to children, parents should seriously consider a vaccine, a decision Jason says he wished he made weeks ago. If I could have gone in and got just a little shot and then kept my kids from getting sick, I would have definitely done it. Now, some good news tonight. While Jason Lee did have surgery this morning, his parents say his numbers are looking great. And as for Aiden, he is expected to be released from the hospital any day now. Reporting live outside UNM Hospital, Brian Albizu, KO18, Action 7 News.